below, on the northern continent of America, there is a stretch of desert called Chamisal, lying along the Rio Grande between El Paso and Ciudad Juarez, the Chamisal is a kind of emotional battleground where two great cultures have been locked in uneasy discord for centuries. Created by a shift in the course of the Rio Grande, this tiny piece of disputed land has been for generations a symbol of all those things which were divisive and alienating and which made the people of both cultures strangers to each other and often to themselves. In 1966, the geographic border dispute of Chamisal was settled. It was simply a matter of diplomacy and international politics. But today, there are a few people along the river who are working to bring the Chamisal a peace that's much harder to win. Not a political peace, but a cultural one. It is an attempt to bring people of different cultural backgrounds together in harmony and understanding. An attempt to have the Chamisal symbolize those human qualities which unite us rather than those that divide us. This is Rosa Guerrero, a woman, a mother, a teacher, a human being. She has lived all her life in the shadow of Chamisal. Some 17 years ago, she committed herself to the quest for intercultural understanding in the El Paso area. In auditoriums like this, as an employee of the El Paso Public Schools, she has appeared before thousands of people of all races and has waged a one-woman war against prejudice and cultural alienation. This is a special night for Rosa Guerrero. Tonight, she will perform for the last time. What a beautiful thing it is to have an audience. What a frightening thing. How can I look at the child who has just suffered the indignity of discrimination and tell him, you're a beautiful child the very center of the universe. I'm not like the muralist Orozco, who can make people understand with his art. I'm not a poet, nor a musician, nor an orator. For a long time I wondered, how can I help them understand? <laughs> 